My name is Barzin Rossini. I am a member of the Atmospheric Flight Mechanics Committee of AIAA. I work at the Institute of Flight System Dynamics of Technical University of Munich in Munich, Germany. In this short video, I am going to give you an overview of one of the research projects my colleagues and I at the Institute, together with our external project partners, have been working on in the past couple of years. Some of the work we have done as part of this project has already been published at AAA conferences by myself, my colleagues at our institute and the external project partners. And more will follow in the near future. A robotic actuator system was designed and developed which can be mounted on the co-pilot seat of a 600 kilogram coaxial rotorcraft and can transform it in a limited time from a manned helicopter into an unmanned version of it. A lot of the challenges my colleagues and I had to overcome in this project were directly related to the core of what we do at the Atmospheric Flight Mechanics Committee of AAAA. In this video, you're looking at an electric version of a research helicopter in which the robotic actuator system is already mounted we use this platform in a hover frame for safely integrating our flight control software and hardware into the helicopter before commencing the free flight test campaign. One of the key challenges in this project was making a simulation model of the rotorcraft, which was later used for the development and tuning of the flight control software and also in the hardware in the loop testing of the avionics. The knowledge of the helicopter flight physics, dynamics and aerodynamics, and advanced system identification techniques were utilized in the making and then verification of the mentioned flight dynamics model. A flight control software was designed which uses the measurements on board the rotorcraft to make the flying of a helicopter, which is an inherently unstable system more intuitive and easy for a human pilot. The ultimate goal of the project is for us to make the rotorcraft capable of automatic flight for different missions and scenarios. Please feel free to follow our scientific publications on the project and, and make sure you come back to this YouTube channel for follow-up videos, especially our free flight test campaign, which is about to start later this year.